Hey folks, Mark here at RCA Aviation and Crawling. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, I wanted to share this uh, with y'all because uh, this this product is really, really something that I'm using a lot. Something I'm using a real, real a lot. Uh, so what it is, it's the Kali Art. I got this from Amazon, 25 bucks. It's the Kali Art acrylic paint set. 24 colors, all right, 24 colors. There, now we got some focus, all right. Now, in addition to all the paint, you get a really, really nice set of brushes, which are here, and you can see that they've been used quite a bit. Now, what I just did, this is just a typical example of what, I, what, I've, uh, what I've been able to use this paint set uh, really, really su successfully for. And by the way, we'll come off the brushes, and then we'll look at the paints there. There's, there's the colors that you get. All right, there's the colors that you get, 24 colors. Now, they're acrylic. You can use them right out of the bottle, which I usually do. You can thin them with water. And, of course, cleanup is easy because it's an acrylic paint and water-soluble paint. All right, so what I did is up in here I had uh, – uh, because I uh, installed a scale and functional suspension center screen on this airplane, well, I used to put my hand uh, under the plane – like this. I used to put my hand under the plane and carry it that way, but because I got the scale uh, looking pretty much and functional suspension here, I can't put my hand under there anymore. So what I started doing is carrying the airplane up here on the wing. Well, sometimes I had dirty hands from flying out of the field and whatnot, and so I ended up with a bunch of dirt and uh, just, just dirt stains right up in there on the wing. So I was able to fix that really, really well, as you can tell. It just it looks fantastic. Can't even tell there was, uh, you know, that there was staining there. And so what I did was I took these great paints and I went and grabbed this color yellow here, which is uh, medium yellow. I took some of that, and I took which is a lighter yellow, and I took some of this, which is a darker yellow. That's yellow ochre. If we're getting any focus on here, it'd be great. Okay? And then I uh, used a little bit of the white. So by combining uh, these three colors, and I used a paper plate... Like you see here, I used a paper plate, and I put some of the uh, lighter yellow shadow. I put some of the lighter yellow on the paper plate, and then away from it, I put some of the darker yellow, and away from that, I put some of the white, and I just took dabs of each until I got it right. Got it mixed up and got it. Uh, well, there, there it is. There's my mixed up. There's my result. There's the color that I got after doing the mixing right there on that paper towel. So that's the color that I got, and you can see I started off with there's some of the white and some of the light yellow, the dark yellow. Mixed it up here until it was right, and then put it on the airplane. So there you go, a uh, short and sweet video. But if you, oh, also, I've also used these paints to uh, exactly match one of the uh, dark stripes on my RV7 here. Um, because one, of, uh, one part of it was just a little tiny bit crooked, one of the stripes. Uh, it was a little high, so I was able to use the white paint to cover up the part that was high and then use the gray paint to uh, replicate very well the color of the stripe and then re kind of patch the stripe so that the stripe uh, looks perfect now. looks perfect now by using a little bit, little bit of a, a dark gray paint, uh, as you see on these stripes. There's some dark gray in there, and I mixed the color uh, just perfectly from this paint set to uh, do a little uh, touch-up on one of those stripes so it would look just perfect. Um, I've used uh, the red, I've used uh, the reds on my mall, on my mall, doing touch up on my mall. You can take, uh, which is it, I think it's the, uh, I think it's this red here. Yeah, that red there, that my finger's point now. I took that red, which was a little dark. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I think I took that red right there. And I either lightened it up a little bit with white or I darkened it up a little bit with a darker red, but I was able to, with the, using the reds that are here, I was able to come up with a great a match for them all. Um, I've used the paints on my crawler, and everywhere. And there's the crawler over there in the bookshelf. Some people have books on their shelves. I, I have some books too, but at least one shelf is for crawlers. Oh yeah. DX5C radio. Oh yeah. Okay, that's it folks. Uh, I really recommend this paint set. Uh, it, it mixes well. It, uh, it goes a long way. Easy clean up with the brushes, like I said. And you get, and as I said, you get a really great selection of brushes here. Very tiny for super detailed work. Are we getting focus? We kind of are. Not really. 
Okay, anyway, from really, really tiny up here uh, up to uh, angled brush like this, larger brushes. And then up here, you've even got a fan shaped brush. So, good stuff, good kit for uh, painting your models, uh, touching them up, whatever you gotta do. All right, thanks for watching. Signing off, five, four, three.